Vaudeville Muse is the name of the place in Des Moines, Iowa, and I am with Jared from Boba Flex. <laughs> you may have uh, remembered uh, they were our featured artist for uh, February 2013. And uh, I thought I'd come down, man. You're so close. I talked to you, and why not? How's it been going? Not too bad. We started this tour probably what two weeks ago, down in Florida. Made our way back up to the Midwest, and uh, gonna keep plugging for the next three weeks or so. So, so okay, you originated in Point Pleasant, right? Yes, around there. That's a very, very small community. Basically, the core of the band. Uh, Dave, the new guitar player, has been in for a little over a year now. He's okay. from Columbus, Ohio area, but we're all from three towns where there's one red light. One red light? One red light. You know what towns. they say about that? Nothing good. When a town gets a stoplight, murder starts. <laughs> you know what happened when we got a stop? We got a Walmart, is what happened. You got a Walmart? <laughs> where, the, where the one red light happens to be. <laughs> so so is Point Pleasant the, where all those pictures, people of Walmart.com come? <laughs> I, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> like know. I don't you don't you don't frequent Walmart? No. Okay. No, no. <laughs> All right. Refuse. Okay. Uh you're on your sixth studio album. Yes. And uh it's called Charlatan's Web. Mm -hmm. What I want to know is is there a story behind that name or were you just all sitting around and thinking, hey, that'd be Clyde cool? Sean came up with it and everyone immediately loved it. It it's such a good play on words and uh makes a lot of sense just for kind of anything in the music industry okay so that makes sense uh i can't remember which one of you wrote me somebody wrote on twitter on the boba flex account and maybe somebody somebody handles your boba flex account but uh uh my station plays bad man a lot okay and <laughs> commented you must love that song a lot I play what the people want. Well, that's good. And it's There's incredible. Batman is still... And I believe that was me, actually. That was you? <laughs> yeah. Batman is still rolling. Yep. People love the song. And even on our SoundCloud page, Boba Flex is the band that gets the uh, most uh, reviews really? and comments. Yeah, every time I go there and there's that little heart icon, and yeah. I click on it, yeah, it's nothing but Boba Flex. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. So, I was just, well, hey, I'm not the one doing it. Somebody you kind of are. You're facilitating the, the little. Well, hey, hey, nah, I'm putting my hands up, man. It's all you. You've got the talent. It's all your fault. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> it's totally fake. We're it's fake. all fake. We yep. sequence. Yep. yep. <laughs> it's just you. Push up a button. There's Thanks. a button. You, you just crushed the dream, man. I'm leaving. We have four lead singers. So. It, 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 okay. Couldn't, couldn't fake it. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you're dead. Now, uh, yeah. the video, if, if you haven't seen this video, you got to check out the video for I'm Glad You're Dead from Bubble Flex. How did you guys come up with the concept for this video? It basically goes with the song. I mean, you know, uh, a, a very bad man who is abusing his daughter. and But it's, it's set in the 1800s. Yeah. That... That is just kind of came about. Why not? That just came about. <laughs> what? And we do all that stuff on our own, you know. So, did you did you just think, uh, uh, hey, this is about uh, uh, some guy that's glad you're dead and loves to see your We're grave? Glad he's dead. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, there was a that coffin was hand built and it weighed. We literally, when we were carrying that coffin, mm -hmm. that man was in there. He oh, was really? About six three and two hundred and fifty pounds. We're not the largest band on the planet. Did you have to take breaks, set it down? <laughs> we did. Uh, we did the video in three days. And it was uh, about twelve to sixteen hour days. Uh, three days for three minutes. You know, like. But I think the outcome was worth it. Yeah, I, so. it, it's a great video, and and uh, you use extras. From yeah, we uh, just put out a, a fan call. You know, like hey, if you guys want to come be in a Bowflex video, come on out, and they did in droves. In, from in, all over the place. I in mean, droves. I, from I, Florida, from Wisconsin, from, you know, everywhere. I have multiple listeners who who sent me pictures of themselves. There? In, yeah. yeah. Dressed up in their makeup. See, and that's amazing to me. Like, yeah. blows my mind. I didn't expect that much. I expected maybe a handful. I didn't, you know, then who knows what the final count was. 
because between the first day and the second day, even more people showed up. And so who knows? But I'm really appreciative of it. There's no doubt about that. It, it is a, I can't get over it. It's an awesome video. It, thank you, man. It, it, it was a... We thought maybe the song itself was so taboo anyway, you know? Like, when you first hear it, you don't know any concepts about it. It literally just says, I'm glad you're dead. That's the title of That's the song that pretty you see when it comes out. Like, if it comes across your radio, there it is. I'm glad you're dead. That That is pretty much the gist. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> the guy uh, is screaming. It, it, sounds, it sounds like it's a real big metal song or something. We're not a metal band by any means. So, you know, we're a rock and roll band. We're a rock band. Yeah. Love it. So, it, it, you know, but, like, places like Sirius, they really latched onto it. It's, and well, it's been getting so many spins. It's surpassed Batman a lot. Well, uh, didn't Batman only go to, like, 36 or something like 34. that? 34. 34? 34 okay. at its highest peak. And this one's already been in the 20s a couple times, so. So, I, okay. Well, I might be wrong. I thought it was even higher than that. Well, it's, it goes back and forth. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, kind of radio releases new songs, and there's a lot of money involved, and mm. we own our record label, and we're not any of those big labels. So, I, okay. Oh, your your uh, album right before Charleston's Web? Yes. Okay, before that, you released on record companies? Yes. Why did you suddenly decide to get away from that and put it on your own? We had a really bad experience, man. It's a a typical kind of Cinderella story of things. Like, we got on TBT Records early in our career. We were already on a fledgling independent label out of New Jersey before that. They sold us to TBT. TBT did well on the first record they did with us. And then the second one, we were in Atlanta recording Primitive or uh, Tales from Dirt Town. Okay. That's what it would have been. And all that kind of washed out and with all the legalities involving that we continued to write the whole time so by the time it was over we're like we you know the band had to go bankrupt the every individual in the band had to go bankrupt it was a you know terror story just to get out of all that stuff okay so at the end of the day once we had all these you know had 16 17 songs that we were ready to release we decided hey why not just start our own record do it ourselves let's find distribution and Megaforce on the first record was very very accommodating to us about the distribution so why not go for it yep we've never made so much money in our entire lives <laughs> <laughs> no middlemen and uh, now you're back with a record company our record company oh BFX Records we own ah that is I, us hey I didn't know that yep I'm a dumbass <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's only the last two records we've done yeah uh, uh, quit shaking your head Oh. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, the question that I ask every band and uh, or band member, uh, what is the strangest thing, and I'm sure that Bobo Flex has had some strange things happen to him on the road over the years. Hard to come up with. <laughs> what do you consider strange? But okay, okay, nothing cliche. Not the the whole like uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll kind of thing. I've seen people poop in beer boxes. Seen me get peed on. I've seen people get peed on. You got peed on? Yep. Uh, By my brother. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Well, at least you kept it in the family. We're getting ready to play Sirius Satellite Radio. Yep. Grand Random. All excited. We were doing a sober thing for a while. Decided to fall off the wagon. <laughs> And that was all she wrote. Yep. Okay. It's too hard to justify something strange at this point. <laughs> okay. What's strange is normal. Yeah. You know what's going out to dinner? That's strange. Yeah, at this point, everyone's yeah. real quiet and not drunk. That's yep. strange. Yeah, that's creepy. Going to a library. That's kind of strange. <laughs> okay. You know, like, you live this life, everything's weird. <laughs> Can't. What most people will consider... Weird is what we do for a living. Okay. Well, that's the best answer that I've had yet. Boom. 